Good afternoon everyone. Now the next topic uh, that uh, how to convert any binary number into hexadecimal. As in previous uh, video lecture I have told you that uh, how to convert any binary number into decimal and how to convert any binary number into octal. So today uh, my discussion is on the topic that is uh, the conversion from binary to hexadecimal number system. So let us start. For example, um, as you have, uh, as uh, in the previous uh, video lecture, as I've, as you have seen that in binary to octal conversion, I have told you to make a group of binary digits, but into the sets of three you have made it, okay? But uh, now uh, you are converting one binary, uh, you are converting one hexadecimal number into binary. So, in case of hexadecimal, you have to represent the binary number into four digits. Okay, means into the set of four, you have to represent it. So, that is why what we will we'll do in case of this, we will uh, make the group of binary digits, but into the sets of four. Okay, this point is important. So, you can uh, underline it like in case of hexadecimal, uh, in case of binary to hexadecimal conversion, what I have to do. Uh, we have to make the group of binary digits but into the set of four okay so i'm just telling you that uh, how you will make uh, one uh, table uh, to convert any hexadecimal number into binary okay so you can make this table into your notebook uh, for example uh, as you know that hexadecimal number starts from zero and it uh, goes up to 15. so first of all i'm taking uh, the number from zero up to seven okay so first of all you just make the table of uh, these uh, these numbers so uh, if i'll check the binary representation of these hexadecimal number then the binary equivalent of these numbers are like this like the binary equivalent of zero is four times zero and the binary equivalent of this one is triple zero one the binary equivalent of two is double zero one zero the binary equivalent of seven is zero triple one okay so if you want to check whether the binary representation for these numbers are correct or not then the same way or the same procedure method you can apply for that like first of all you have to start from the least significant bit means from the rightmost digit you have to multiply the uh, this number with 2 to the power okay so we will do that so you just proceed for that first of all i am calculating this one so 0 into 2 to the power 0 plus 0 this 0 into 2 to the power 1 then 0 into 2 to the power 2 plus 0 into 2 to the power 3 so the summation of these four digits will be equivalent to 0 that means this one is correct the binary equivalent of this 0 is correct so just like that i am just checking the binary equivalent of this one also okay so we will start from the least significant bit so that is why i am multiplying this number from the least significant bit so in the least significant bit i am having one so that is why uh, i am multiplying this number with 2 to the power 0 plus 0 into 2 to the power 1 plus 0 into 2 to the power 2 and plus 0 into 2 to the power 3 so the summation of this or these four numbers will be one so uh, the hexadecimal uh, representation of of this set is one so just like that we can perform for two for three for four for five for six and for seven also okay in case of seven uh, you can check like uh, first of all one into two to the power zero plus one into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power 2 and plus 0 into 2 to the power 3 so if we will calculate uh, these numbers so we will get uh, in the summation part you will get 7 ok you just check it like it will be 1 it will be 2 so 1 plus 2 will be 3 then 2 to the power 2 is 4 that means 4 plus 3 it will be 7 and this part will be 0 that means the summation of these 4 digits is equivalent to 7 okay so this is that means you can say you can apply the shortcut means if there is one number in case of hexadecimal just like 4 5 means 45 is given and in the base part it is written that this is one hexadecimal representation and you have to convert it into binary 
so directly you can write uh, the answer means you can write 0 1 double 0 then 0 1 0 1 so this is the binary representation of 45 and the base part you will write 2 okay got got my point what i what i uh, mean to say okay so now ju you just check for the next uh, next numbers like as the range of hexadecimal starts from 0 and it goes up to 15 so basically uh, basically uh, from the 10 uh, from the digit 10 we just represent all these numbers with the help of character so the our digit 10 is representing with the help of this a then 11 is representing with b 12 is representing with c 13 is representing with d 14 is representing with e and 15 is representing with f okay that means the range is not over yet okay so we are taking some more uh, digits in case of hexadecimal so the rest of the digits i am taking here so you just check it like i have written the binary equivalent okay so you have to learn it or you can uh, you have to understand it after that you just learn it okay so i am telling you that uh, like if you just check it like uh, the whether this binary equivalent is correct or not so you can check it like you will start from lsb descent as i am telling you again and again so you are just checking it like 0 into 2 to the power 0 plus 0 into 2 to the power 1 0 into 2 to the power 2 plus 1 into 2 to the power 3 so what you will get in the answer part these three digits will be 0 only this part will be uh, like equivalent to 8 that means the total summation of these four digits will be 8 correct just like you will perform for 9 also okay and uh, same procedure will be applied for this a a means 10 so you just check it like 0 into 2 to the power 0 plus 1 into 2 to the power 1 plus 0 into 2 to the power 2 and 1 into 2 to the power 3. So what you will get this will be 0 1 into 2 to the power 1 that means 2 this part will be 0 and this part will be 8 that means 8 plus 2 it will be equivalent to 10 and 10 will be represented with the help of this alphabet or with the help of this character that is A. Okay so in case of hexadecimal uh, the 10th uh, digit will be represented by A. 11 will be represented by b so just like that so uh, that means if there is one uh, example that you have to convert any hexadecimal number and the number is like 9 d okay this is one uh, hexadecimal number that is 9 d and you have to convert it into binary so what will be the uh, binary equivalent so for 9 you know that we can write 1001 okay so directly you can write it that the representation the binary representation for 9 is this and the binary representation for this d is like d is equivalent to like uh, 13 okay so first of all you will write like uh, d is equivalent to 13 then after that the 13 is equivalent to this uh, binary number that is 1101 got my point so now what you do you just uh, um, uh, check the example like one by one i have told you that uh, the summation i have taken the summation part also here okay you can check it from uh, this video so i'm taking one example uh, just like uh, i have taken uh, like binary to hexadecimal and uh, this is one binary number which is given to you that is triple one zero zero one zero one so from what you did uh, you just uh, made the group of uh, uh, group of uh, binary numbers in a set of four so from the lsb digit you will uh, make the group so from this side i'm just making one group and uh, this next group will be this and if there if you uh, like feel that um, uh, there is only a set of three then from the uh, most significant bit side means from the left hand side you can add zero okay as we did in the case of binary to octal also so if you check the hexadecimal equivalent of this number then what will be the hexadecimal equivalent of this number so you just check your table it will be equivalent to 14 and this number will be equivalent to 5 that means for 14 what we write we in a case of hexadecimal we write e for this 14 that means the hexadecimal representation for this binary number will be e5 okay got my point 
i think this is clear now what you do you just try to solve these practice questions these are the practice questions you just solve it by your own first of all you just understand the example which i have given you which i have told you in this video lecture first of all you just try to solve it uh, by your own after that you just do practice of all these questions okay and if you got the answer of all these uh, practice questions then only you just check your answers so these are the answers or you can say these are the hexadecimal equivalent of these binary numbers hope uh, this part or this conversion is uh, very much clear to everyone so do practice at home so that in the midterm examination you can uh, do well so thank you very much thank you so much